Hey guys, you are back with Gabby Game Forever. And what I'm going to be talking to you guys about today is, hold on. Okay guys, I'm sorry. My lips have been feeling like really, really dry. But what I'm going to be talking um, to you guys about today is, I'm actually just going to be giving you guys some advice. Just like, we're just, you know, having a conversation, just us talking. And sorry I look a little rough right now. I try to get ready to do this video for you guys. Um, I had two people ask me about it, but I told them like I wasn't going to do it, but I just went ahead and signed it too. But if you are new to my channel, please like and subscribe. If you have any comments, you already know, comment down below. I will answer everybody. I promise I always do. But what I wanted to talk to you guys about, this can go towards guys, girls, you know, however you take it, can, this is for you. Um, like, let me see. You guys are, um, you guys an example. Like, stop trying to please people. That's going to be the topic today. Stop trying to please people. It's like, I see a lot of people that is always trying to um, make someone else happy please someone else and then at the end of the day they forgot about themselves you know when you're in a situation guys um like that you feel like you're put under pressure you have to you know wake up flash back you can't always be there be there to take care of someone else and what i mean by that is like someone else is always you know blowing your phone up for a favor always you know needing money from you or even need you know you to buy them some groceries or if they don't need like financial wise they're always needing you like emotionally oh you know uh let me give an example you know timothy you know he was out with jessica last week and you know i didn't feel comfortable about that i know he was cheating and this that, and the third like that your relationships if you go to you know your friend or you know your cousin you know what whoever you have to go to about your problems sometimes your problems affects everyone else like you bringing all of your problems and someone else's life and you don't even know what they have going on or you know they could be dealing with their own relationship problems or you know financial problems or you know whatever your problems are you have to stop and think like you're bringing so much stress onto them and you don't even know what they're going to that's why i'm always like um people are always saying basically like uh let me see how to word this for you guys i'm so sorry guys people are always saying like you're not there for me I'm trying to do this the nicest way i can but you don't always have to be there for somebody 24 7 you know what i'm saying because at the end of the day you have your own problems and you have to worry about yourself and it's like really selfish when someone asks you guys uh you know to be there for their every need and they never come back to you like you know you okay girl how was your day you know or for guys you know i know you guys talk to your homies you know like how you doing you know bro you okay or you know what you've been going through you know if you need a shoulder or somebody to talk to i'm here like that's being a friend but if you're constantly just going to someone and you know you're just wanting someone to always you know be there like they don't even have their own life to live or to breathe because they're so busy trying to fix your problems you know that you have that you know you might have started you know with someone or whatever that's not cool so that's my advice on that topic stop always trying to please people stop always trying to be there for somebody else because the people that you always please and the people that you're always being there for are they there for you you know what i'm saying like are they always at your every need or your every phone call when you're calling them or when you're texting them are they there for you all the time and it's like really crazy because people will want you to be there like constantly and when you're not they just be like oh okay you know what i'm saying and then, for instance, people blowing up your phone for money, people blowing up your phone for a ride, you know, your homeboy, your homegirl, oh, you know, can I come over to your house for a week? I need to crash on your couch. And it's like really crazy. It's like, wow, you know, uh, Jennifer hit me up and we haven't talked in, you know, five years. I'm just giving examples, guys. I don't even know Jennifer, Timothy, or, you know, Ashley, Samantha, whoever. I don't know these people. But Jennifer, you know, me and her haven't talked in like, five, two years and whatever. And, you know, she just hit me up and she randomly just said she needed somewhere to stay. And then you feel obligated to do that. Why? 
Why are you obligated to take care of Jennifer? You haven't talked to Jennifer in years. Um, Jennifer's just hitting your phone. And then you have your own life going on, already started or whatever. So why do you feel the need to stop your life for Jennifer? That's what I'm saying by stop always trying to be there for someone. Worry about yourself. You can't take care of yourself. You can't be there for yourself all the time if you're so busy worried about the next person. Me, I have my own life going on. I have, you know, my own things going on. So if my homegirl or, you know, my cousin or, you know, my mom or my sister, whoever calls my phone and be like, you know, I need this now or I need you to be here now, unless it's like a dying situation, don't expect me to stop what I'm doing to fulfill your need and then I have to come back and be like, dang, you know, I had this going on and now I don't lost this opportunity or, you know, I don't messed up this chance because I was trying to help you out. No. So if, you know, you have people like that, you know, explain to them, you know, I can't do that right now. I'm sorry, you know, you might need me to be here, but I can't do that right now. Physically, emotionally, financially, whatever. I can't do that right now. You guys need to explain that to them and stop letting people run you over. Like I see too many of this every day, you know, people are really stopping their lives to help out someone else. And then, you know, they're struggling. Two people struggling, you know, wh what are y'all doing? You, you can't. You can't be struggling and then feel like you can go help somebody else. For How are you going to do that if you're struggling? How are you going to help somebody else that's struggling? You know what I'm saying? Two struggles. What is that? You know what I'm saying? So stop always thinking about somebody else. Stop always trying to be there for somebody else. You know what I'm saying? Because you need to be there for yourself. If nobody else has your back at the end of the day, you have to honestly learn how to take care of yourself. You have to understand learn how to have your own back, you know, and be independent. You can't depend on someone else. So don't let someone else feel like they have to depend on you. Like they're, they have to, um, they are able to depend on you. Don't do that guys. No. And then, um, I see this a lot. Like people be like in serious relationships and everything is going good. And they want to bring their homeboy or their homegirl around their spouse. And then all hell breaks loose. You guys, I've seen this a lot. <laughs> Someone actually asked me to do this advice. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and slide this one into this video because, you know, I already got on a topic, so I got to go ahead and share this. So shout out to Lindsay that asked me to give her some advice on this. If you are dating someone and you bring your friend or, you know, whoever around them and they're the opposite sex, you know, say uh, you're in a relationship with Kevin and you bring uh, your homegirl Sarah around and you feel a, a different vibe, you know, like, oh, my homegirl might be trying to talk to my man or something. That's not your homegirl. That's not your homegirl. Stop calling people your homegirl if you don't know what that a homegirl is. You know what I'm saying? Like, for me, if I'm in a relationship, I I trust my, you know, my uh, spouse to a certain extent, you know? And what I mean by that is trust. I have to build trust with you. I'm not just going to be like, oh, you know, he got this or, you know, he fine. You know, we was friends for so long. Let me just hop in a relationship. I don't do that. You know, I don't need nothing from you, you know, money-wise or, you know, material wise i don't need none of that because i go get that myself but what i'm saying is um don't feel like oh that's my homegirl for six months or whatever so i have to run down the street to, you know get everybody you know something to drink for the house so i'm gonna leave her here what no 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 see i don't do that i don't usually bring any females or you know any guys or whatever around my spouse if i'm in a relationship and it's just because not that oh i don't trust you know my friend or i don't trust my spouse it's because some people give you the uh the vibe that just throws everything off like i don't want to have to you know be giving somebody the stink eye the whole time we sit at the table eating lunch or you know worrying about if i go to the bathroom is uh christina and you know Kevin gonna be like trying to, you know, talk and exchange. I don't have time for that. You know, if your spouse is so 
easy to be taken from you, ladies and gentlemen. If your spouse is easy to be taken from you, then they were never your, uh, your boyfriend or your girlfriend. They were never your, really yours, basically. Because if somebody can be taken from you in a snap of a finger or a blink of an eye or in a second of a heartbeat, they were never yours and you really was wasting your time. So um, that's my input on, you know, relationship status. I'm not trying to, you know, talk bad about anyone or, you know, make you think something is going on in your relationship, but that's just how I view things. So, um, I hope that really did help. And, um, you know, you can take my advice and pass it on. You don't have to take my advice. That's all up to you. But I actually did this video because I have a lot of people asking me a lot of different questions. So I really do hope that I answered, you know, everybody's question with that. And if I didn't, comment down below and, you know, we can do a next video, a part two, and, you know, get more questions answered. But I really do hope that I helped you guys out a little bit. I really did try. And there was a lot of questions. So I hope I didn't skip over anything. But again, if you are new to my channel, please like and subscribe. Comment down below. My Instagram is brown underscore dimples underscore 21. So if you want to add your girl on there, go ahead and do that. But yes, guys, I really did hope that that, you know, helps some of y'all and, you know, relationships or, you know, um, people, you know, popping in and out of your life. You're like, how do I handle this kind of situation? Those are some tips you know, okay, how you can handle the situation, you know, just don't ever stop your life for someone else. Don't ever let someone use you because that's just, that's not okay to have someone use you. I mean, we don't do that, ladies and gentlemen. No, you got to want and do better for yourself and keep pushing and stay motivated. You know, that's what's going to get you to where you want to be at is stay motivated and don't let anything or anyone get in the way of stopping motivation because if they get in the way and they're stopping your motivation and don't want you to do something, then they're not wanting to see you successful and they're not really your friend, you know, whatever you call them, they're not really that. So guys, I hope that video helped you out a lot. Give this video at least 500 likes. Give it a thumbs up, guys. And I will be back with more videos, more challenges, more pranks for you guys. I will be there, you know, if you need somebody to talk to, like I said, comment down below. I reply to everyone if you want to slide in a dm brown underscore dimples underscore 21 ask me any questions you know get any advice your girl is here to answer and i'm sorry you know my my living room looks a little messy right now guys it was a lit night for me but ignore the mess <laughs> but anyways please give this video a thumbs up and like and subscribe if you are new to the channel i love you guys